Have you ever questioned the very nature of reality? What if everything that you touch, feel, or perceive is simply an illusion? What if the sensations you experience, the thoughts you entertain, the physical universe you inhabit, and even the relentless passage of time were nothing more than an elaborate, intricate simulation? Welcome to the fascinating and perplexing world of simulation theory. Broadly, simulation theory postulates that all of reality, including the Earth and the universe, is in fact an artificial simulation or hologram, much like a complex computer program. This concept has been around for centuries, albeit under different names and forms. The idea of simulation theory isn't new or groundbreaking. It traces its roots back to ancient philosophies, religions, and metaphysical speculations. The notion that reality may not be as not be as it seems or may even be an illusion is a recurring theme in philosophical thought. Such ideas have been contemplated by ancient Greek philosophers, Buddhist scholars, Hindu sages, and countless others throughout history. In contemporary times, this concept has found resonance in scientific speculation and is often referred to in the fields of physics, cosmology, information theory, and more. Technological advancements have only added fuel to this intellectual fire, prompting thinkers to reevaluate our understanding of reality within the context of our digital age. Renowned Swedish philosopher Nick Bostrom brought the concept of simulation theory into the spotlight of scientific and philosophical discourse. In his seminal work, he posited this theory's three core propositions, each intriguing and profoundly unsettling in its own right. He suggested that advanced civilizations might self-destruct before they could reach the technological sophistication required to create such a simulation. This implies that any civilization capable of creating a universe-wide simulation would likely extinguish itself before achieving this feat, possibly through war, disease, or any number of cataclysmic events. Bostrom also theorized that advanced civilizations may simply not be interested in running simulations of their ancestral past. Imagine a civilization so advanced that the idea of simulating their primitive past may seem redundant. Lastly, and most provocatively, he suggests we might be living within a simulation. This proposition challenges our very existence, suggesting that everything we know, everything we perceive as real, is nothing more than a cosmic hologram. Simulation theory is a fascinating intersection of philosophy, science, and technology. It draws upon ideas from quantum mechanics, cosmology, information theory, and computer science to suggest that the laws of the universe might be comparable to the computational code of a sophisticated computer program. Mysterious phenomenons like quantum entanglement and the double-slit experiment hint at a possible underlying digital framework. They challenge our conventional understanding of reality and blur the boundaries between the physical and digital realms, suggesting that our world might not be as tangible as we once believed. So, welcome again to the riveting world of simulation theory, where the line between reality and illusion is blurred and the nature of existence itself is perennially in question. What if everything you experience your thoughts, the physical universe, the passage of time, was nothing more than an elaborate simulation. Phenomena like quantum entanglement and the double-slit experiment hint at an underlying digital framework and challenge our understanding of reality. The narration unfolds various arguments and pieces of evidence to support an intriguing theory. As we probe deeper into this captivating premise, it's important to fully comprehend the gravity of this concept. Consider this. We might be existing in a simulated universe, a realm that feels real but is actually a complex illusion. Indeed, it's a mind-bending proposition. Though it might appear to be a conjecture straight out of a sci-fi novella, it's been contemplated upon by numerous notable scientists and philosophers, each contributing their unique insights and theories. One such theory introduces us to the enigmatic world of quantum mechanics, an aspect of physics that investigates the behavior of particles at the minuscule level. This isn't about basic Newtonian mechanics. 
Instead, it's an arena where the laws as we know them seem inverted, contorted, and peculiar. Quantum mechanics suggests that particles behave differently when observed. It's a phenomenon that has puzzled and fascinated scientists for decades. For example, in the renowned double-slit experiment, light demonstrates dual characteristics of a particle and a wave, a behavior that astonishingly alters based on whether it's being observed or not. This peculiar trait of quantum particles might suggest a reality that modifies itself based on observation, an attribute that aligns with a simulated universe. Moreover, nature provides us with another piece of evidence favoring a simulation. Have you ever noticed the recurring patterns in nature? From the layout of petals in a flower to the spiraling design of galaxies, we encounter mathematical patterns that are hard to disregard, like the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio. These patterns aren't mere coincidences or just aesthetic. They are deeply embedded in the fabric of our universe. They suggest an underlying order, a kind of cosmic blueprint, which aligns perfectly with a computer-generated environment. If we were indeed in a simulation, wouldn't it be logical to find underlying patterns and codes that guide our reality? We should also consider the swift progression of technology. Try to recall the basic video games of the 1980s with their pixelated graphics and rudimentary mechanics. Now, contrast it with the present, where we experience highly immersive video games, virtual reality experiences that convince our senses we're in a completely different world, and AI technology that keeps narrowing the gap between reality and simulation. It's astonishing, isn't it? The unparalleled speed at which technology is advancing provokes thought. It makes us question the real essence of reality. Could an advanced civilization create simulations so lifelike that the inhabitants believe they are living in an authentic reality? Furthermore, the fast-paced technological advancements, from rudimentary video games to intricate virtual realities, hint at the potential for civilizations to generate lifelike simulations. The unsettling possibility that we might be a part of such a simulation cannot be dismissed outright. It's a theory that keeps us intrigued, mystified, and challenges our grasp of the universe and our position in it. Ultimately, the beauty of this theory is not in its affirmation or denial, but in the profound questions it makes us ponder, the conversations it instigates, the imaginations it fuels, and the boundaries of understanding it urges us to broaden. Simulation theory blurs the lines between science and religion. This confluence of domains, the fusion of the physical and the mystical, the quantifiable and the unquantifiable, introduces us to an entirely unique realm of thinking. It guides us along a winding road that defies the traditional understanding of our world, the cosmos, and the very fabric of reality. Essentially, it's a radical idea suggesting we might be less tangible than we perceive. It's a theory that boldly steps beyond the boundary of observable facts and delves into the sphere of metaphysical contemplations. The simulation theory is more than just a hypothesis. It's a groundbreaking shift in perspective, one that dramatically changes the way we perceive our existence. It embodies the interaction of knowledge, faith, and comprehension in a completely different context. Central to the simulation theory is the idea of a superior entity or entities that exist beyond our comprehension. This daring proposal draws similarities with theological concepts of deities. It portrays a vision of divine beings or extraordinary entities choreographing the world as we decipher it, similar to puppet masters manipulating the movements of marionettes. The notion resonates with religious beliefs across cultures highlighting the theistic concepts of a divine architect of the universe. It aligns with ancient philosophies and their idea of a cosmic order, a thought that has influenced human societies for thousands of years. It forms a link between contemporary science and timeless wisdom, between the empirically defined and the spiritually sensed. However, as we delve deeper, we realize that this stirring conjecture is not universally acknowledged or even mildly appreciated. Critics frequently highlight its unfalsifiability. They argue that simulation theory, as fascinating as it may be, 
fundamentally errs as it cannot be verified or refuted with empirical evidence. It is essentially a hypothesis that lingers in the gray area of scientific ambiguity. They also emphasize the philosophical quandary it presents, questioning the foundation of human existence, our sense of identity and perception. It is a paradox that releases a flood of existential questions, reviving long-standing debates about free will, consciousness, and the nature of reality. The doubters question the ethical implications if our reality was confirmed to be a simulation. Would it reshape our perception of right and wrong? Would it transform our collective morality, or even the way we interpret our own existence? Would it deprive us of our individuality, reducing us to simple codes in a cosmic algorithm? And finally, what would it signify for us as conscious beings, capable of thoughts, feelings, and dreams, if we discovered that our lives were not our own, but the constructs of an entity or entities far beyond our grasp or understanding? These inquiries, and many others, keep swirling in the whirlpool of this debate. They urge us to reassess our understanding of reality and our position within it. The simulation theory forces us to face the potential that we may be living in a grand illusion, a simulated reality crafted by an entity beyond our grasp. All these reflections lead us back to the core of the simulation theory and its implications. It's an impactful yet contentious concept that bridges the gap between science and metaphysics, between the visible and the invisible, and between our convictions and our realities. In conclusion, whether we embrace or dismiss the simulation theory, it serves as a powerful reminder of the immensity of our universe and the boundaries of our comprehension. It provides a setting for dialogue, exploration, and discovery. Above all, it uncovers a realm of possibilities that challenges us to think beyond our current limitations. The discourse on simulation theory is a continuous journey, laden with uncertainties, theories, and insights. There is still much to be revealed, and even more to comprehend. Critics, nevertheless, highlight its unfalsifiability and the philosophical dilemmas it presents, questioning the ethical and existential implications if our reality was verified to be a simulation. In conclusion, while there's no conclusive proof of our existence within a simulation, it indeed invites us to delve into the profound unknown. We're called to navigate the murky waters that lie at the intersection of recognized science, traditional philosophy, and the vast enigmatic unknown yet to be deciphered. This concept, a theory rooted in the nexus of technology and philosophy, is meant to stimulate thought, to ignite the flame of debate, and to inspire an unquenchable curiosity about our existence. The simulation hypothesis encourages us to question our reality, our perceptions, and the very nature of our being. It goads us to consider the authenticity of our reality, to reassess the foundations of our understanding of the universe, and to reevaluate our assumptions about our existence. Our place within the cosmos, our role within the grand scheme of the universe, our function within the intricate web of existence, has been a matter of debate and contemplation for eons. Despite the astounding advancements in science and technology, in technology, despite the great leaps we have made in comprehending the universe and our place within it, the question persists. Are we living in the base reality? Or are we mere characters in an elaborate, sophisticated simulation crafted by entities of superior intelligence and technology? The exploration of this concept the questioning of our existence advocates us to delve deeper, to push the boundaries of our understanding, to challenge and shatter the preconceived notions that we have about the universe and our role within it. This venture into the abyss of the unknown is not just a pursuit of concrete answers, but it is also an invitation to appreciate the complexity, the intricacy, and the startling beauty of existence, irrespective of whether it is real or simulated. In the grand scheme of things, in the vast tapestry of the cosmos, whether the reality we live in is the base reality or an intricate simulation, the implications of our actions and the pursuit of understanding and wisdom remain equally significant. Every action we undertake, 
Every decision we make, every path we choose, reverberates into the cosmos, sending ripples across the fabric of existence. This holds true whether our universe is the base reality or a simulation devised by advanced beings. The exploration, the doubting of our existence, provoke a deeper appreciation for the complexity of life, the intricacy of the universe, and the grandeur of existence. Regardless of whether our universe is simulated or real, the intricacies of life, the splendor of the cosmos, the enigma of existence, are nothing short of awe-inspiring. So, as you navigate through your day, through your life, remember, the reality you perceive may be far more intricate, more complex, and more fascinating than you ever imagined. This exploration of existence, this questioning of reality, is not just about seeking definitive answers, but also about provoking thought, stimulating a sense of wonder. We may not have definitive answers to whether our universe is a simulation or the base reality, but the questions themselves serve a crucial purpose. They provoke thought, stimulate curiosity, and inspire a sense of wonder. They push us to explore beyond the boundaries of our understanding, to question our preconceived notions, and to plunge into the profound, uncharted territories of the unknown. In this quest for understanding, for knowledge and wisdom, we realize that the pursuit is just as significant as the destination. The journey into the labyrinth of the unknown the exploration, exploration of the inexplicable existence and the questioning of our reality are as vital as finding definitive answers. They provoke thought, stimulate curiosity, and inspire a sense of wonder. And isn't that what makes life truly interesting?